Well, we uh, I think we have everybody in here. I want to uh, welcome you all to our annual scientific symposium. Just a, one citizen organization in collaboration with many organizations, agencies, and groups who are attempting to make, do the same, towards, work towards the same goal. You'll see a slide here shortly of how many different groups are involved in that process. As you probably, most of you know, you're here because of water quality and what's happening to Wasco Lake in our region. Harmful algal blooms are still happening and we are our speakers today will talk about the status, what's being done to uh, monitor them, mitigate them, and to help uh, prevent them in the future. It's not an overnight process, but we have a lot of people working on it. Just to put a detail, back in 2017, during the sampling that we do in the Harmful Algal Bloom Program, there was a bloom. I don't know exactly where on Owasco Lake, but it registered with the toxins. That's the, obviously the issue, the toxins getting into the water. It was over 80 times the, mit, the maximum limit that's I'm set by... Park. Emerson Park, okay. That's set by the Department of Environmental Conservation. So it's an ongoing uh, problem, and uh, we're here to talk about it, and let you know what's going on and what's being done to help out there. We have many sponsors. I want to thank, obviously, Albert Public Theater for hosting this event. A couple of few years ago, we, the 11th hour, our previous venue said, oh, you can't, you can't, uh, can't use our stage. So, <laughs> Bob Brower, being a member of the, I think, the APT board, talked to Carrie Idell, and they were very gracious and said, yes, you can use this theater. And so we're glad to be here in this, I don't know if this is our third or fourth or fifth year here, but we're very honored to have this opportunity in this facility to use. Obviously, we are involved with Kugu Community College. We have an office there, and then so does Adam Effler with the uh, Owasco Lake Watershed Management Council. The executive director has an office there, and they let us use also their conference room for our regular meetings. One of the many agencies that uh, involved with water quality, it says it right there, but there's at least 15 voting members from six or seven lake associations in Kugu County three city or town officials, Auburn, Owasco, and I forget the other one. They are obviously purvey the water to all of our citizens, or municipal water to our citizens. And then several, six or seven county agencies who are involved in water quality. I, I'm a member, I represent Aula on this agency and I describe it as, I enjoy going to meetings because it's like having your ear to the ground of what's happening around the county and what's going on. One byproduct of the agency is they have working groups, and I've been on the Nutrient and Sediment Working Group, and over the last few years we've developed three different sets of guidelines that have been adopted by the county legislature. There's copies out there right now. One of them was manure suggested spreading guidelines, manure distribution guidelines. We had input from the ag agriculture community and all the stakeholders. There's another set of guidelines for ditch maintenance. As you know, the roadside ditches, a lot of them are scoured out and they contribute over 22% of the flow into the lake. So we developed guidelines for that proper maintenance. And, and the last one that's just been published is residential guidelines. What should you do or not do if you're near the lake or, or in the watershed it's, itself, but particularly those lakefront property owners? Those guidelines are out there on our, on our outlet table right now. Thank the Finger Lakes Institute. Dr. John Hatman is representing them today. He'll be our first speaker, and they've been very helpful. They have knowledgeable folks over there. They have just had a great similar symposium conference with uh, water quality presenters. Finger Lakes Museum. They have a display up in our in the in the lobby. They are over in Branchport on the north west finger of Cuca Lake. And they're a group that's stressing the cultural and natural history of the Finger Lakes. They're building a museum. They have many programs. 
They go out ice fishing and kayaking and different things. So please look them up. Finger Lakes Museum. It used to be called Finger Lakes Museum and Aquarium, as it says at the bottom. The Wasco Lake Watership Management Council, same thing that was formed a few years ago. It has representation, hopefully, from all, eventually, all the towns that are in the Wasco Lake Watership. I don't know how many we have now, but we have a good representation of those that are directly around the lake. And they have the power, because they're elected officials, to make things happen. They're kind of the focal point. And Adam Effler, he's here somewhere, is the executive director, full-time executive director, coordinating those efforts for water quality. Within the, uh, under the management of the management council, is the Wasco Lake Inspection and Protection Division. Drew Snell and Caitlin uh, Shanahan are their full-time employees. They have a display on the stage out there, and they are ones who have the eyes on the ground looking for problems, potential violations, and situations that need to be addressed. Of course, I'm proud organization. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Partners for Healthy Watershed, uh, Carl Zemick is going to represent them. It's a coalition of agricultural organizations, and, they, and Carl will talk, give the agricultural perspective on what they are doing now and in the future on all sizes of farms to make a water quality better. So Wasco now, Terry Cuddy's here, the founder of that, another citizen organization locally for making the water better in the Wasco Lake. And uh, I don't I see the representative here, but one of our partner organizations just next door, Skinny Atlas Lake Association, they've really spun up in their efforts to make things happen and to be the last one to get harmful algal blooms. They have really, they're in high speed mode to make things better there. And they're great partners. The State Freshwater Institute, Dave Matthews and his crew, are, take our tributary water sampling samples and provide the testing and the results for us. We're trying to find hot spots and different tributaries, OWL it does, with volunteers going upstreams and willing farmers or other property owners to find that there's nutrient hot spots happening and where they are, they can be addressed to obviously reduce nutrients flowing into the lake, one of the contributors for harmful algal blooms. Our first speaker will be Dr. John Hatman. And that says it all. He's, he's, our, he's the man, briefly. Uh, Dr. Lou McCaffrey from the New York State uh, Finger Lakes Water Hub. It was created a little over three years ago to address water quality in the Finger Lakes. It's a new DEC agency, or group, four of them. Dr. Teng Zeng, he will talk about micropollutants. It should be very interesting, except he's fallen ill, and his PhD assistant, student, uh, Ms. Shiro Wang will give his presentation. Doug Kirst, head of the County Soil and Water Conservation District. We've worked with them many years. They are the, his team does an amazing amount of different projects around the lake. Grass waterways in the field, water control sediment basins in, in agricultural property, ditch remediation, hydro seeding ditches, stream bank stabilization, the weed harvester that you'll see on the lake. Just a myriad of different projects all addressed towards improving water quality and reducing sediment loading into the lake. And lastly, I mentioned Carl Zimmick from Cornell. It should be another very interesting presentation. I talked about the displays out there. I also, I didn't mention that Michelle Wunderlich, a very hardworking member of the Department of County planning uh, has some basic species uh, table out there, but went Finger Lakes Museum and then obviously Drew Snell and his uh, inspection. He has a nifty new drone out there, so you see a little, little silver drone run, flying around, you know who it is. Hopefully he's not looking in your living room window. If you're <laughs> Lastly, uh, this is an amazing number of groups and organizations who are all interested in water quality in Wasco Lake and our watershed. After each presentation, these are the phone numbers we'd like you to text 
your questions to, and we'll get to as we'll select what we can. We're on a tight schedule here, but that, this slide will come up again, but I'm the guy on the top, and Ken Kudo is the phone numbers at the bottom.